Now in this section, we're going to look at placeholders or text boxes. So here I've just created a default slide. So I'm going to type in something like um, all about PowerPoint. And in the subtitle area, I'll just type in something like by David Murray, like so. And I'll click outside. Now if I click within this first item here, you can see this is the placeholder. You can see the edges there, or the text box. If I want to, I can resize this. So if I click here, I can resize in that direction. Or if I go here, I can resize in this direction. Or if I go to any of the corners, I can read it, you know, resize in two uh, dimensions at the same time. So let's say I wanted to uh, resize it to that, I'd release the mouse button. Similarly with this one here, if I want to resize this, I can go to one of the corners, like so, and uh, press down the mouse button and drag. And when I release the mouse button, that's where it stays. So that's how you move things around and resize them. You know, if you just simply want to move it, you go to one of the uh, corners, sorry, you go to one of the edges here, and you just sort of drag across, like so. So that's how you manipulate the default text boxes. If I created uh, another new slide, so I'll just go for uh, table and contents this time. So again, I can type in something like um, all about PowerPoint, whoops, typo. And down here, I, I'll just type in my name. So again, if I want to, I can go to one of the corners here and resize this, like so. If I want to move it around, I just go to one of the edges and just drag it around, like so. Similarly with this uh, item here, I can go to this bottom corner here and I can resize. And then to move it, I just go to one of the edges and I can move it like so. So that's how you manipulate the, the default text boxes or placeholders. If you want to, you can manually insert a placeholder. You just simply go to Insert, Text Box, and then if you just drag across the screen, maybe to here, and then let go of the mouse, that has to find an area where, you know, if you just type in some rubbish like so, you can uh, just carry on typing. And again, the same rules apply. If I deselect that, click within it. If I want to uh, move it, I can just sort of move it around or move it around like so. So that's basically how you manipulate text boxes. Instead, if you want to get rid of one, like this one here, I'll just click on the edge here, like so. So it's now selected. Press the delete key, and it's now gone.